Zibuai Moat. The great Zibuai Moat shall bring order and control to this dark land. Zibuai alone deserves to rule here. Ha! Zibuai alone will possess this rich, darkling land. He is the true heir. Our accursed pact forbids us from fighting them directly. But we deserve the man. Yes, that is a most orderly arrangement. We agree and to understand that servitors of the great Zibuai Moath must continue. I think you'll find this Quam Amulet of Passage useful. Now, if you have no further questions, I'll be leaving. It's just another of life's little mysteries, Manling, but you're welcome. Good luck. Goodbye.
Awake, 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 from sleep to despair. And who are you? I rise through sorrow, I sink with hope. The night binds me in tiny steps. I murmur cold memories, like the nibbling of rats on tiny toes in sleep. I fade into the smallest part of my soul, a wisp of a whisper. The shackles that bind me are far stronger than any mere magics. I shall remain here alone. Let the nocturnals come and find me stricken here. They will punish me, but they will punish the Dagon far more. There will be war in the heavens. The sky will crack and the earth will split in two. All mortal things must perish in this howling storm of fire and night. It will be glorious. Catch your tears in a sieve of gold, mortal. It's too late for weeping. I have no tears left, and no pity for the tears of mortals. Ah, Deanira. Her longing will not cease even in the face of overwhelming loss. How like a mortal she is. I could... But no. The thought of her tears is almost enough to shake this mantle of anguish from my shoulders almost, but not enough. No. The only joy left in me now is the thought that the nocturnals will scourge the Dagon until the magicka drips in rivulets from his hollow eye sockets. Twins to the tears, I cannot cry. Farewell. Farewell, selfish mortal. Leave me, mortal. Your miseries are not mine. 
She will not die. Immortals cannot die. Now be off, mortal. How goes your quest? You return, and with you, hope returns. I can feel my mistress again, oh, but I sense she has become dispirited by her deep loss. It is very much in the nature of nocturnals to pine and mourn, even beyond the purpose of such grief. They nurse their misery in their bosom until their sorrow takes on a life of its very own, until weeping is all there is, until all the seas of tears run dry. Only the greatest of shocks can do that, a loss greater than the shame of the pillage of the Shade Perilous. I know her better than any, and I do not know any such thing. I told you, I know not. Perhaps you are right, but nothing short of casting myself into oblivion could shock her from the refuge of her bittersweet melancholia. No, you are keen-sighted, mortal. I must leap into the darkness for her. Seek my mistress. Tell her that should she not return to rule her realm, I will have no safe return from oblivion, and remind her of her oaths and obligations. So honorable a mistress would never be forsworn of her vows. I implore you, you must do the deed. Take this soul dagger. If you strike true, you shall loosen my spirit and darkness will swallow me. Into the dagger I shall pour my hope and longings, which you must bear as a token to my mistress, that she will know what I have done for her. Raise this dagger up against me and smite me with all thy arm and heart. Thing or not, I do not fear, for I sense honor in your heart, and perhaps a touch of love. I have nothing more to say to you. Ah, she is gone. Gone! I should tear your beating heart out and force you to eat it in tiny bites, one wriggling, beating bite each century. I should flay the skin from your body and hurl your living carcass into the sea of my salty tears. You mortal, no doom so slow, no pain so tearing. What you say perhaps is true, too fair, but you bastard, you tricked her into this to serve your own selfish ends. Perhaps I can understand. You are a mortal, and mortals see things differently. A mortal must never regret, never feel shame for what it does to save its life. Daedra do not really die. Not as you know death. 
but we can sacrifice ourselves to oblivion, as she did. Oblivion is existence and self-awareness without the ability to see, hear, or affect the world. For an immortal, it is hell. Unspeakable pain and horror. Absolute loss. Eventually, we do return, but not all return as they were. There is sickness, madness, change. It is passing strange, but I feel your comfort, mortal. You have so much to lose, you things of flesh, and yet you do not despair. An intriguing mystery. All other portals are sealed, but there is a back door. To the north, you must cross the rock sails to a lesser portal, which will bear you to the hex room and the gate. Four anchors bind the magical forces. Loose these anchors, and the portal is ready. To the north is a door. Say, Gemaque, to enter. When you reach the final portal, I will have had time to open it to your use. But the Dagon have set a seal upon passage from all destinations but those of their own choosing. You must go where they wish you to go. Your cunning shines with a brightness that craves requiting. In the brightest light or blackest dark we are equally blind. It may be that I owe you something, or owe it to myself and my pride. But if in the end you must stand before Dagon, call on me. I will use you as a link for travel, and it may be that even my modest powers can be one of your little surprises for him. Just one look before you go, mortal. Abide with me a moment. Ah, so faint a candle is the mortal's light. Faint, and it flickers so. But indeed, this faint light of mortals might light up the sky. Oh, but I shall remember thee, and see thee again before the end. Farewell.
Once again you exceed our expectations. We did not expect you to find JCL. I will neither confirm nor deny your surmise. We will tell you what you need to know. You test my patience, mortal. Uh, uh, uh. A good point. Set aside the posturing, I have something to say to you. We Daedra have a standard joke about news. That there is no good news without bad news. So, the bad news is that Dagon has your companion. We don't know. All we know is that Vatasha Trinell has been taken to Lord Dagon's hunting lodge. That is all we know. We can help you rescue your friend. We will not tell you how or where or when, but will hold it as an incentive to your continued cooperation. Seek fairer allies if you can. And now for more bad news. There will be a hunt, and you are the prey. Escape Shade Perilous and you will be hunted within the Chimera of Desolation by the rights of the innocent quarry. In the hunt, there are rules. Turn those rules to your use, and on the ground seek hidden resources. Seek a thing that once was a man. On him is the mantle of distinction. Be patient, heed him, and learn. You are not to be trusted with more. You are bound by no oath or code, save your own self-interest. We risk much in our dealings with you. Do not look for more. If we deem it safe, we will leave you messages. Now I must go. You have done well so far. It would be very frightening for us to learn that you are the type and not the exception of humans. Farewell. And in the hunt, good fortune. Think you're doing you wait are you